Hello everyone, Travis with Diesel Laptops here. Today we're just going to go over some of the functionality with the Komatsu Wheel Loader. We've already got ourselves connected here, so we're just going to start on this parameters tab. So this is basically going to give you all of your live data. Uh, you've also got a dashboard function down here, which will let you see these systems in a pictorial view here. See there with your active treatment system. Next tab you're going to have here is going to be your fault code, so that's going to tell you whether it's active or inactive, be the OE code, PID, FMI, whatever it is you need to actually look that code up. ECU info is just going to tell you what it is you're connected to, but activations will be any of your tests here, so you see a good number of these. And then follow that up by your settings tab, which means things you can get in here and change, you can force your regens. Uh, some depth purge count resets and things like that are located all in here. We're going to run the regen, let you guys see what this looks like. So we'll just hit confirm here through all the warnings. And then once we're finished, the regen will begin. And once we do get connected, you'll see there's a couple different ways we can view this data here. It's going to take it just a second to start the procedure. And you'll actually see the pictorial view here on the screen you see now. So you've got one for your dashboard, which is going to look like this. Number two is actually going to give us a graphic, so it's going to kind of be just a graph format here. We'll click it and let you see that. And then number three will actually be a table, which we'll get into next. So we'll go ahead and hit three. And if you do want to go back, you can just hit one and then back out. Uh, we're not going to sit here for the entire region, so we're going to cancel it out. But overall, Looks like pretty decent coverage with this tool.